What's up guys? So I just wanted to let you guys know that I cut my hair. You guys may or may not like it, but I'm pretty happy with it right now. I'm gonna I have deep conditioner in it. I cut it with deep conditioner in it. And um yeah, I'm about to wash it and then hopefully style it in a wash and go and hopefully it comes out okay, but I feel like I'm back in high school because this is how short my hair was like it was a little shorter than this too but it's just bringing me back to those memories it's so weird I want layers though that's like the next thing that I want so it can be like huge oh my gosh look at this guys let's see if I straighten it though it'll be it'll be up to here it wouldn't be too bad but when I do straighten it usually it's like past that I don't know why I'm flipping out right now or tripping out but this is all the hair that i cut as you can see a lot of the blonde is gone which i'm gonna miss like i love my blonde hair i would love for somebody to dye my hair again for me i just can't do it. i'm not brave enough so i just recorded a video and um yeah that's gonna be up on my main channel so i will definitely link that when it goes up should it be it might be up before this video not too sure yet or it will be up on sunday so yeah guys don't hate me like i just really wanted to change um and to grow my hair out again so it can be healthy like my hair is definitely not the same as it was before and i really want my hair to be healthy like i was tired of my wash and goes because my wash and goes just would not turn out good because the ends were just like straggly there was no volume so i even want to put like layers in it or something i just I, volume is what I love for, in curly hair. I don't really care about length. I care about volume. Or if I can have volume and length, that would be bomb. But yeah. So anyways, guys, I'm about to wash my hair and put some product in it. And then I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to do a little unboxing for you guys because I got uh, so many packages from when I was gone. And I just want to share with you guys what I got. So yeah. And shout out to the boring vlogs again. Woo! Cause I know a lot of you guys only watch because TG's in there and you guys like to be fast but I don't know when the next time I'm gonna be there is so right now it's gonna be me my boring self and my friends my fun friends okay guys sorry for my messy background that's just how it is in this house super messy got a child got three other adults like it's madness but it's unboxing time I got a bunch of packages right here um, I got a lot of this when I was away in Houston so I thought I would wait to open it because I love you guys so much and just do it on camera. So I got two things from Just Fab. Um, I can just show you guys the shoe first. I actually got three things, but the shoe is upstairs and I'm too lazy to show you guys. So so I got a pair of flats. Like I really I don't own any flats, so I thought like this would be nice if I don't want to wear heels or something, but I still want to look kind of dressy. So it's these black flats right here which tie up, tie up on your leg or your ankle I guess and they're pointed toe uh, not sure how much this was but I had credited I had credits in my um, account because it's so hard to remember every time to skip a month I just don't want to cancel that membership to be honest okay and the last thing I'm super excited about is this purse guys this is not even showing the true color of this purse it's like this oh what color would you call this so yeah it's definitely that style that's in right now too with like the little i don't know what you call it little scoop thingy has the little things at the bottom so your bag doesn't get messed up i just love the color so it's so pretty Ooh, that's more of the true color but it does this camera does not do it justice trust me this next box right here is from uh cream of nature i think and they send me stuff all the time and it's like literally the same things over and over like i don't need any of these products i have them all like twice so i think i'm just gonna give this away um let me show you guys what comes in it uh they gave me this little bag which i probably can use my mom can use for grocery shopping it says beautiful by nature which i think is super cute um I love how they always do these custom things um, whenever they have like a campaign they always make little t-shirts and stuff this also says beautiful by nature which is super cute I think I wear this even though it has the cream nature logo on it they should be paying me for that 
I'm shocking. Uh, I have no idea what this is. If you guys know what this is, focus. I don't know. It looks like a nightlight to me. So it came with their Pudding Perfection, which I already have like two of those. Their Perfect Edges have like three of those. Um, their oil, I actually don't have this, so this is their treatment. I might keep this. Maybe. Might give it away though. Might give away this whole package. Uh, the Argan Buttermilk. I absolutely, I like this. Their co-wash. I have a whole video using this as well. You guys can check it out. I will link it down below. Their Coconut Milk. I haven't actually used this line yet, but I do have it. And then their Moisturizing Shampoo. Ooh, okay. Maybe it's picking up a little bit. But okay, yes. The purse is picking up better color now. Like, is this really nice nude pink color? <clears throat> and it's been out of stock for so long. And they finally put it back on stock. So I just had to get it. Alright, so next up. I have a bunch of Fashion Nova things. But I'm waiting on a few more things. And then I'm going to do a haul. So you guys will need to see that. So when I went to New Orleans, I was actually working with Fox TV and their show Empire. That's why I was sent over there. So um, we got to meet some of the cast and stuff like that. And just do um, sort of like focus groups on the next season, which the season is out now. So we got to actually pick like the flyer and all of that, which was a super cool experience. He flew me out there. Like I was like, yo, that's dope. So it says, Nisi, thank you so much for your interest in empire fragrance we hope you love it as much as we do let me know if you have any questions best adelaide so cute so yeah empire actually came out with um men and female fragrances which i think is pretty dope i'm excited to smell it i can't smell the box what am i thinking okay and they give you the full size like what so this says lions legacy empire so what is what Oh yeah, so this is the men's one right here. And this one is Lines Truth Empire for Women. So that's how that looks. I'm going to open this up actually so I can show you guys how it looks. Oh, it already looks beautiful. Woo! Look at that. It seems like it's not showing properly. Focus, my dude. The packaging is really nice. So this is the men's cologne. It's really gorgeous packaging, like the little snake print right here, and then the gold. It just makes you feel like you're part of the royal family or something. And this is a huge size. I wonder how much this is. And it has the E for Empire. Uh, this is the female one. This is a really cute bottle. Oh my gosh, this is like decor piece right here. And this also has a little E on it. Oh, I love this. I'm gonna smell the ladies one. Spray it on my arm. let it soak in for a little bit i'm not gonna spray the men's one because i don't want to smell like a man right now but i these are actually really really cute i don't know who to give the male one to i don't know yet hmm i can't really say what it smells like but it does smell good it's more of like a for me i don't know i kind of like kind of fruity scents just kind of fruity scents this is like a scent that I'll wear if I'm like going out for like dinner or a club or something like that and you just want to like It's like a grown woman smell <sighs> Just like cookie, you know So I got a package from Scentbird um, Got two of their little perfumes, more perfumes, yay I love how it comes in this little bag And because I'm always traveling, this is like so perfect for me um, I got the Juicy Couture scent and then uh, I don't remember what other scent they sent me. Lost the paper. But they sent me their scent of the month for this. Not sure which one it is. But I think this one is the Juicy Couture. Yeah, this one is the Juicy Couture. I don't know which, which one it is, but it's one of them. Lastly, I got my new necklace from uh be happy live pink i have a coupon code for it if you guys are interested that will also be down below so they sent me in my package some chokers don't really wear chokers like this it has like a little heart on it this one has like a little gem on it which i will not wear but um yes 
so a lot of you guys know that I lot like you haven't really seen me wear my Shanice necklace for a really long time that's because it broke on me um, again and I and I got it fixed and then it broke on me again so I'm like whatever um, so I got a new one of these bad boys finally got my name plate back um, these are the ones that do not change color and if you guys want to know the specs of what I get um, I will link that down below as well with the coupon code so I wear this in the water on the beach like wherever and it doesn't change color on me Ooh, it's naughty right now I gotta fix that so uh, let me fix that so as you can see it says Shanice on it all the details again will be down below and then they sent me another one which I thought was so nice Hopefully this one is real too or like gold plated and doesn't itch my neck because I can't wear fake jewelry or else like it will itch my neck. Like even this, like if I wear it and I sweat and everything, like my neck will itch off and I'll get like rashes all over. So this one is so cute. It says unbothered. Come on, come on, focus. So that is a better look. This one says hashtag unbothered. This one says Shanice. Oh, yeah. what's up guys so now you guys can get a better look of my hair today's friday haven't vlogged all week because i've just been chilling you know with my family and just doing my thing so this is how short my hair is in the wash and go state it's pretty short but i love it like because my curls are popping 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 but yeah i'm on my way to the dentist um to see about my wisdom teeth because i have to take them out before i do anything else with my teeth so I'm gonna see if they can do it, but my teeth is like really impacted. So I'm just getting a consultation right now. Where is it at? That was quick. As soon as I came in here, she's like, okay, come sit down. So hopefully this goes by super fast. I hate the dentist so much. Ugh. So guys, I just got home. Um, the dentist pretty much cannot do it because my teeth are like, they're bad. Like the back ones. Cause as a kid, I had like a lot of cavities. I used to eat so much candy, it was crazy. So I actually had to pull out two of my molar teeth and one of them grew back, but one of them grew sideways and the other one didn't even grow back at all. He's like, did you get rid of a tooth or something? I'm like, yeah, a long time ago. So <laughs> basically the molar grew sideways and it's like impacted and it's like almost touching my other tooth um which he said is a good tooth and then he said that and then all both of my wisdom teeth on the bottom are growing in like that as well and then he said one of them on i don't know which side it is is like he said something's wrong with it so like i'm like stressed right now because i just want to get like everything fixed with my teeth so i can either get braces or veneers but I have to do this first so yeah he gave me a referral i called the referral place and they're like oh the doctor won't be in until november 1st but i really want to, and it's only a consultation right so i really want to get things like you know fast and over and done with so i thought about it i'm like okay november 1st whatever so i hopped in the uber and then i'm like no like i want this to be done earlier so i told the uber to make a u-turn and bring me back and then i got the other referral that he gave me and I called them and they're like, okay, we have a spot for October 24th for a consultation. Um, and if you want to do it that day, he if he can do it, then you can do it. But you won't be able to um, get sedated or like fall asleep. You can only get the, the needle so you're numb. So, mm, like I said, at that moment, I was like, it doesn't matter. If like he can do it that time, then I want to do it. But now that, I'm thinking, now that I'm thinking about it, like... I want to fall asleep because the way that they're talking like how it seems bad like I don't want to be awake for that I went to two different doctors they weren't specialists or anything but they're like they're gonna have a hard time to get that molar out so if they cannot take up the molar but I pray to God that they can that I pro I wouldn't be able to get braces because there'd no there'd be no space to push the teeth back so I'll probably have to resort to getting veneers and they would have to like put it down into like really small nubs in order for them to get like pretty much like a straight tooth I guess I will show you guys my teeth but like I'm very embarrassed on my teeth like I hate my teeth so bad especially my bottom ones like my top ones I'm like pretty fine with um they're not the best but 
I can live with it. My bottom teeth, I hate talking. It's like one of my big insecurities. And that's the reason like I don't like talking a lot because I feel like everybody is staring at my bottom crooked tooth. Like it bothers me so much. So that's what it is right now. Uh, my next appointment is October 24th. Hopefully he can do it and he doesn't say anything crazy. Like, I don't know. Cause like I'm even scared because people, when a tooth is near a nerve, it's like, there's a chance that um you know if anything happens that you won't have that feeling in your mouth anymore and i don't think i want to risk that i don't want to have like i don't you know when your mouth is numb and you can't talk properly and sometimes you might drool and stuff like i don't want that i'm not going to risk that i'd rather just keep the tooth and if that is a, like a high percentage that it could happen because no <laughs> i just really want to get this on and pop in because I really want to get braces or I want to get veneers haven't decided maybe braces at the bottom veneers at the top or both I haven't decided yet I just want to fix my teeth because for for a living I talk you know like I'm always talking I need to talk and I just don't feel comfortable with my teeth at all so that's pretty much what I want to share with you guys and of course my hair like it's pretty short eh like usually it's like down here in a wash and go but it's all the way like to my shoulders but you can't lie the curls the curls are popping though they popping um so yeah it's friday the, i wasn't actually supposed to put up this footage on this vlog so um i just didn't have enough footage so i'm gonna end the vlog here pray for me guys hopefully i can fix these teeth of mine um so yeah we'll see you guys all in the next vlog Oh, <laughs>